everyone, uh, my name is Vicky and I work um, as an artist uh, with Far Flung Dance Theatre. Um, this is a part of a series of videos that we're releasing for um, those of you at Plymouth Community Homes to access, um, varying from uh, different online tasks for you to get involved with whilst you're all inside. Um, so today I'm going to be running an arts and craft workshop. Um, I'm going to split the video into two parts. So the first part of the video, we're going to prepare everything we need to make uh, what we're making. And the second part, I'll show you how to design and create um, our craft for the day. So uh, what we're going to be making um, is we're going to be making lovely little dories, which you can um, put onto your doors. Um, and I've got multiple designs. I've got two designs that I'm going to show you how to make um, during the course of these videos, which I hope you enjoy and can follow along really simply. But this is just a lovely way to decorate your homes and also communicate with your neighbours um, in the surrounding area. So um, I'm just going to quickly go through the things that we're going to need before we get started. So um, you are going to need um, some cardboard, so any old cardboard will do, any from old packaging, um, any boxes that you've got. Cereal boxes work perfectly fine as well, so cardboard that you have. Um, a pair of scissors, uh, make sure if young people are making this arts and craft um, that adults are supervising them with the scissors because they can be very sharp. Um, any coloured bits of card or paper or newspaper, whatever um, you have lying around to help you decorate and create um, your decoration for your wreath. Um, a pencil so that you can draw the outline of the shapes that we need to cut. Um, you'll need some glue at some point later on, um, especially in the second part of the video when we put together our design. And we'll also need some uh, string or wool if you've got any. Um, this is optional, this is just for one of the designs I'm going to show you how to make, but you don't need to use this or follow along with that tutorial um, if you don't have any access to any string or wool in your household. Fab! Um, now that we have all the material that we need, um, let's get started. Okay, um, so first of all, we're going to start by taking our cardboard. And what you're going to do is, like I've done here, you're going to draw a nice big circle um, on your cardboard, which um, you are going to cut out in a second. Um, depending on the size that you want your wreath to be, um, I've made some little tiny ones here. Um, they're a lot smaller, um, but it depends on the size of your door or wherever you're going to hang it in your window. Um, so yes, and it also depends on what size your cardboard is. So you're going to create that circle with your pencil or pen that you have handy. And then really carefully with adult supervision, if you're a young person or a child following along, um, you're going to cut around your circle that you've just created. Taking your time. It doesn't need to be perfect because once you've decorated your wreath, um, you won't necessarily see the shape, um, so it doesn't matter if your circle is more like an oval, um, which I think mine is looking like at the moment. Fab! So just discard the excess and you've got um, your circle here out of cardboard. Next, what you're going to do is you are going to draw a slightly smaller circle within the bigger circle. Again, it doesn't need to be neat and accurate. If you want to make it accurate, you can... Um, if you've got a compass handy or some string, you could uh, mark the centre of the circle and then use the string to get a more even trace of a circle. But I'm just going to do it roughly for you all now. Then the best thing to do is um, push your pencil or pen through the centre of your cardboard. And then from here, you can snip on the insides. I like to make a little star shape. Again, doesn't need to be neat. So then that just gives you a bit of wriggle room to then cut around the inside of your circle so that we've got a nice hole so we've created a bit of a hoop shape. Um, then what you can do is you can go around and neaten up all of the edges until your, um, your wreath looks like this. So you have a perfect little uh, circle and um, it's all neatened and trimmed up. Great, so this is the base. You're gonna put this to the side um, and we'll come back to this in the second part of the video. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on the decoration. So the two different designs that we're gonna create in this video are um, a leafy design. So it might not look exactly like this, but I'm gonna show you how to create all of these leaf shapes that you can put around your wreath to decorate it and make it look like a sun or a sunflower or um, just petals. 
Um, and I'm also going to show you how to make a pom-pom wreath, which is lovely and fun. So if anybody has any whirl or string at home, then you can follow along and make that too. If not, most people have card or paper at home, so you can create a wreath like this. So we'll start off with the leaves. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take any spare bits of coloured card. Uh, you could do it with newspaper like I have done here. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut your... Um, card into sections so just small little rectangles or squares just a couple of inches like two or three inches along like that again young people if you're following along make sure that you have an adult supervising you or helping you when using scissors because they're very sharp and we wouldn't want you to get hurt lovely then what you're going to do is with each little square that you've cut out you're going to fold it in half now with paper, it's slightly easier to do. With card, it's a bit more sturdy, so it can be tricky. And what you're gonna do is, um, you can see that there's the open edge and the closed edge. What's gonna happen is you're gonna hold on to the closed edge nice and firmly. You're gonna take your scissors again, nice and carefully, and you're gonna cut a petal shape. So we're gonna start at the bottom corner here, and you're gonna cut all the way around. You're gonna curve like you're creating a rainbow shape. And then you're gonna finish off your rainbow shape by curving back to the top corner, like so. And then when you open it out, you've created a nice little petal for a flower. It could be a leaf. It could be anything that you imagine. And then these little bits are just scraps. So you can pop them into your recycling bin. So you can do that a few times. Um, what I've decided to do for this video is make a nice rainbow petaled wreath for you all to enjoy, which you will see come together in the second part of the video. Um, but as you can see, once you've got the method, it's actually really easy to create loads of these leaves or petals um, and you can always trim them down so if you think they're too big you can um, you can make them smaller I'll just do a few more so you can see there we go I'll do one more orange one don't worry if your workstation's a bit messy I always work um, very messily at home it just means that we're working creatively fab so I've got some here I'm gonna add this to my collection um, I don't know if you can see here, I've created loads of different coloured petals and leaves. Oops, let's pop them back in so that um, our wreath will be lovely and rainbow-tastic. So we'll pop them to the side. So that's the prep for um, the petal wreath done. You can also prep um, some other little bits that you want to add on. You can go and gather some buttons or glitter or whatever else you'd like to add to, um, to your wreath to make it more um, more creative. Um, whatever you have lying about the house will work. Um, but now we're going to prep um, for if any of you at home are making the pom-pom design. So um, the best thing to use, I'd say, is wool um, because you can get loads of different colours. Um, it's quite a nice texture. String can be a bit rough. Um, so what you're going to do is we're going to do the lazy pom-pom making method because sometimes some of you may have made pom-poms by using cardboard um, and creating a little circle and wrapping all the wool around and snipping it and then tying it in a knot to create your pom-pom but um, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do it um, by using your hands. So all you're going to do is take the end of your wool or string and you're going to wrap it around your fingers. Now what's important is you keep your fingertips spread apart. As soon as you close them together you're not going to be able to wiggle your fingers out of the um, tight loops that you're making so um keep them apart and then you won't be stuck later on so you're gonna loop the wool or thread or string around your hand a couple of times i would say about 50 times to get a nice regular size pom-pom but if you like anything a little bit thinner then uh anything between 30 and 35 will do um, or you can judge it by eye. I think that looks okay. So once you have wrapped it around your fingers, mine are a little bit squished, you're going to carefully use your scissors, snip off the end, and you're going to take it all off of your fingers. And um, you've created a little bit of a, uh, a ball, um, a little bit of a wrap with your wool. Next, what you're going to do, this is a bit fiddly, so bear with me. Um, you're going to take the rest of, uh, the, of your string and you're going to wrap your parcel that you made tightly into the middle. Now you wanna do it nice and tight because this is what's gonna hold the pom-pom together and you're gonna tie some knots into it. I recommend two or three just to make sure that you've definitely knotted um, the pom-pom firmly together. You can snip off the ends nice and carefully again with your scissors 
And what you're going to do is you're going to cut all of the loops. Can you see that we've made loads of little loops? You're going to cut through all of them. Um, take it nice and slow so that you don't miss any of the loops. Um, it's no problem if you have done, you can always come back to them like I am. And look, all the ends are frayed so you can start to see the pom-pom forming. And again, you're going to do the same on the other side. It might get a little bit of messy with stray wool um, coming off here, there and everywhere, but that's fine. You can always pick it up later on. Um, there might be a few loops that you've missed, so just go around and check as you're uh, fraying out your pom-pom. There's quite a few I've missed actually on this one, but it doesn't really matter because they're kind of all hidden away within the... Uh, the fraying of the pom-pom. As you can see, it looks a bit uneven at the minute, so you can also trim the edges so that some of the longer bits of string are evened out. Lovely, that looks all right. It could have been a bit thicker maybe. I could have done a few more wraps around my fingers, but it does the job. Um, uh, so there, you've created your, oh, there's a bit of a loop that I've missed there. You've created your pom-pom. Um, and like I say, the more that you've um, trimmed it and made it look pretty, the more pom-pom like it will look. And the more times you wrap it around your fingers at the beginning, the thicker your pom-pom will be too. So um, if I just scoop this mess to the side, we've got one pom-pom here. I have made plenty more here in preparation to uh, decorate our wreath as well. Um, so that's the prep done. So if you wanted to make a pom-pom wreath, all you need to do is create as many pom-poms as you would like that you think will fit around your cardboard loop that we've made. Um, and also the same with your leaves. So if you're going with a leafy petal design, just cut out as many leaves that you think will be able to cover the whole loop. Um, and that is the prep done. done. So if you're following along with both designs at home, uh, you should have um, two uh, cardboard uh, stencils for the base of your wreath. Um, you will have a collection of coloured petal leaves, uh, depending on what coloured card you've used or newspaper. And you might have a variety of pom-poms as well um, that you're going to use to create another design. Um, so that's all of the prep done. Um, you're going to tune in for the second part of our video where we're going to start sticking and decorating and completing our lovely wreaths so they look a little bit more like the ones I have here. And I'll also show you how you can add on your own personal uh, message to add that finishing touch to your wonderful wreaths that you're going to decorate your homes with. Um, so uh, I'll see you back at the second part of this video.